I'm back. I shit my fuck. Uh, 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 welcome to Metal Month, motherfuckers. Now, you may notice this beautiful thing and may be wondering. Wow! Well, I'm actually sort of, oh, I am, but that's because this is my new noise, instrumental noise core project titled Filth Planet, which just released its first album titled Fuck Humans. I literally spent like an hour on this, so it must be good. Anywho, uh, first, I'm not going to link any, besides this, I'm not going to link any uh, of these albums in the description, but if you do ask for... A certain album uh, in the comments. I will link them. So yeah. Uh, all right. First up, we have album, but still a good album. Door, but I'm probably mispronouncing that. Door by Bosses Hang. Industrial noise outfit, and this is industrial and noise, and also a hint of melancholy. Because look at that sad, sad man who didn't get his supply of fruit punch. Or some shit, I don't know. Uh, don't expect most most of these to be... ...now because I'm tired. But yeah, this is uh, my, by far my favorite noise uh, release I've heard, honestly. And Spirit Possessions, Spirit Possession, I love these guys. I believe they released a demo last year. This is their debut album, and it is a spicy one. It's nice and fierce and just just so just good. Just good black metal. Just good black metal. Good black metal. Trot I might I might I might not really that because of the how I probably just peaked the mic. <laughs> Yikes. But no, this is Flesh Rot's uh, demo from the year. They are said to be in having a full hair. Just luscious, unwashed hair. Yikes. Uh, but yeah, it's a good uh, horror-inspired death metal. I recommend to anyone who likes death metal. If you don't like death metal, you may not like it much. I don't know. Maybe you will. Our tastes are different. Like Machines Here Freedom Ring is actually hard rock, but I don't care. It reminds me of like old, old 90s bands, and it is great. This is an EP. And I recommend it if you're in the mood for something not so uh, extreme, I suppose. Code Orange underneath, I sort of just... I, I, I have about 20 uh, albums on here, and a lot of them I... Not a lot of... Oh, I, I, I kind of had to sort of... I wanted my... De my uh, about 20 albums or something. And I didn't have 20 albums, so I just started listening to... Music to try and find some of the albums and such, but uh, yeah, but no, this is actually a pretty good one if you like, uh, think they're like industrial metalcore. Feel free to correct me in the comments. Now, this is just nice raw black metal, nice. Raw, it's violent. Number first, demo two. I not only the pictures I them. They're 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 good. Tenebrae's Breath of Living from a very very underground uh, label known as Brutal Cave Productions, and honestly, they deserve more rec recognition because. This is a fantastic album. It is a uh, good old-fashioned YouTube 
pedal death metal goodness. I wouldn't go as far as far to say as that it's a uh, Swedish inspired, but it's it's got the HM2 pedal, and you know how much I like the HM2 pedal. You probably don't. I like it a lot. Bone all. Obelisk marks the line. I had to read the title because I forgot. This, again, is some nice raw. It's not as violent as number four, but it's more raw. I like it. I don't know. All our black metal releases are alike, so if you like one of them, you'll like all of them. Goetti is, I believe... No, this is this is Witchbones Goetti. Sadly, this is the last... Which bones release? He said he did the the uh, artist said he do burnout, and you can hear that he sort of it's sort of drained of like ideas and creativity, but it's still a fantastic just a little you know just just a little by the books you know it's a fantastic I'm going to say blackened death metal. It's, uh, it's good. It's good. Iron Killer Pest, Lords of the Bottle, is German black thrash metal. Ah! There are no things about Germany. They make good black metal. They make good thrash metal. And this is a good black thrash metal fucking album. Sadly, this is all... The full album is only available on cassette, but there are still some cassettes available on Arbentage Productions. So, uh, go check it out. Crypt Dagger. More black... German black metal. This time, black speed metal. I actually reviewed this, but not on my channel. I reviewed this on the Hangman's Opinions channel. Uh, go check that out. There's a few... There's only two episodes, but it's still pretty fun. It's, it's really funny. I, honestly, I, I love it. And I love this. This is so good. It's just... It's... just so... It's... It's raw and just speedy and just... Oh, it's so good. I forgot how I... It's, raw. it's so good. Just check it out. Triumphal... Procession. I'm, I'm not sure I said triumphal, right? But whatever. This is another black metal release. It is DIY, nice and groovy black metal that I recommend. Um, although I think I, I think there, it, there's like one, if not no, sets left of this by now, because I bought the second one. On deaths, lesions of a different kind. That's a good album. But no, it is nice, grimy, dirty, uh, death metal. It is really good. I, uh, Undeath released a demo last year. Actually, a couple demos last year, I think. And this is their debut, and it is a spicy debut indeed. Fantano uh, did a review of this. Of it, well, uh, the needle drop, I should say. If you want to hear a review of that? Go watch the needle drop. Sorry, but it is good. Horrendous Deoltus. This is, t I believe, their. Well, technically, um, Neuronian Times was a demo, so it's their debut uh, album. And it's really good. Oh my god. I love Horrenda. The thing is, it's t the production is. Too good if that makes sense. Yeah, you know, they they had a nice harsh production on their demos, but but and this they cleaned it up, which so it's sort of a double edged sword in black metal making nice clean production, but it's still a good it's still a good album. Leaking Acid, a compilation. Uh, Leaking Acid is a compilation of all their demos. It's about twenty five minutes. Pretty good actually. Uh, noise core. You like that sort of thing? You like that because noise core is uh, there's a lot of similarities in the bands. Post human. Oh fuck. Beneath the horizons. Post human. Metal horror. This is metal core. 
alternate metal thing. That's pretty good. Uh, uh, uh yeah, that's pretty good. Ab Reactions Pure Attorney Not Chuggy Death Metal Demo from Uninterested Something. No, I'll second. Aggressively un Uninterested Productions, which is a death metal slash round rap uh, label, which is very interesting. And this is a really good release. Interkyfex CAC. I am so pissed that I missed out on this. Oh, I'll see you can tell it that. I have been losing weight, though, actually. I lost about uh, 15 pounds. I probably gained it back by now, but uh, you may have a fucking gross skin. Ew. I'll be right back. I think I might have shown a bit of ass there, but whatever. I don't think I did. Yeah, I know it's a little bit more gaudy than the th than the uh, than the you know, the flannel, but I don't, uh, I don't show tummy skin. I want to see the tummy skin. No one wants to see the tummy skin. No one wants to see the tummy skin. Uh, CAC is really good raw black metal. It's not as good as their uh, promo tape, but it is still pretty good. I would recommend if you like German raw black metal. This is a mysterious OBB's demo. No one knows who th where this from. No one knows who's made it. Uh, Josh Bob Propaganda just received it in the mail the files and just said, "Hey, release this shit, you fucking bitch." Probably not that of you know, but. It's pretty good raw black metal. And the mystery adds to it. Scam Sounds of a Disease is Black Grindcore. Yes. It is just. just. violent. diseased. And good. It's good. Putrid's Necroza demo. They actually released another demo this year that I haven't listened to yet. Uh, I'm going to spotlight this because, actually, I think I did listen to a little bit of it, but not all. But this is some putrid death metal. Just amazing. Really good demo. Want it on tape. Guns, Peace, Love, and Heavenry or something like that. I'm gonna look it up because I'm bad at doing my job. Yeah. <laughs> Where the fuck? Where the fuck? Where the f <sighs> You're gonna have my wish. I usually have. Oh, there's a gun. Peace, love, and heavy, heavy weaponry. Sorry. Oh, that's the wrong thing. I have to look at myself when I with you. This is punk. And it's good. Gun is good. You don't like gun? How could you not like gun? Gun's amazing. I want a gun tape. I actually do. I would like a gun tape. And if you're out there, please send tape. I will give you all I love you. Gun. Please sit deep. Sleaze bags demo. This is so I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. From underground kit uh, 
from Brutal Cage Productions. This is Death Sludge Crunchy Lo Fi Disgusting. I love it. It's it's amazing. It's I played it in the car and my while I was driving somewhere with my mom because I'm fucking don't have my driver's license yet even though I'm 17 nearly fucking 18 I'm a fucking horrible being but my mom can literally told me hey could you turn it down it was just so bofi and crunchy kill shoots demo this is uh black and roll I, per I believe it's really good it's it's black and roll it's it's and it's really good. That's really awesome. Check it out. I need more black and roll. Money. No dream. Fuck. Jeff Rosenstock's No Dream is pop punk goodness. Next, ultra obscure and obscene odds is Death Black. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. It's so good. I love it. Hellas, Matrophagy, New Core, good. Concept album about child abuse. All of our trees, Ugly is Beautiful is uh, alternative rock, it's pretty good. Last album he's making, it's the fucking, gives the fucking music industry is bad, and how can we forget Anthony Fartface? Oh! Is that. I suppose that is all. So I'll see y'all later. Y'all. Yeah.